OneCNC provides a very comprehensive set of tools for wire EDM. OneCNC supports two axis wire and four axis wire. If you'd like, you can work with a solid model or wireframe geometry. Now, in this example, what we're going to do is take a look at two axis wire. We're going to head over to the main toolbar, so to apply a wire cut, select Tool Pass, and from here you can select Cut Close Profile, Cut Open Profile, Four Axis Cut, EDM Hole, EDM Shape, or Custom Code. Why don't we start with Cut Close Profile first? I'm going to select the start point, and then I'm going to left click the profile and specify the direction. Now what you want to do is specify your passes. So you would first want to specify the amount of passes you want to take. If you're taking multiple passes, you can tell one CNC to cut in one direction or zigzag. And then you also have the ability to save your cut passes as well. Notice how you also have control over cutoff. You've got standard, glue gap, and punch out. Each one of these parameters can further be defined by coming down to your blending options. None, circular, and deburr. It's very, very nice. Let's go with circular on this. In the upper right hand corner you have your compensation, automatic, none, or machine if you'd like G41 or G42. Here you set up your wire diameter and your burn gap. You can also specify a taper just by selecting enable and typing the taper angle. Very, very easy. There's controls for approach and depart. Here's your different start codes. You also have radio buttons for auto threading and auto wire cut. Very nice. Let's click OK and there's the wire cut. Why don't we preview this? So we're going to head over to the NC Manager. I'm going to right hand mouse click on the machining operation and what we're going to do is select Preview Toolpath. And there we go. Let's speed this up just a little bit. And there's the wire making the wire cut. Now while this is taking place, you can rotate, zoom in, zoom out. You can speed up the simulation or slow it down. It's very, very nice. Alright, now let's take a look at machining one of these D-holes. This process is very similar to before. We'll just head over to the main toolbar. Again, we'll select Cut Close Profile. We'll select our start point, the profile, right hand mouse click, and then again just set up our parameters and click OK. It's as easy as that. Now let's take a look at machining or cutting those holes there. We're going to use EDM hole. Now both of these operations are very much like pocket operations, but we're going to go with EDM hole. I'm going to select both of those holes, right hand mouse click, and notice now in the lower right hand corner there's a parameter there for step over. We'll go with 8 thousandths and click OK, and there we go. We'll zoom in on that and take a look at that wire cut for you. Very nice. Alright, now let's take a look at 4-axis machining now. So we're going to open up a different part file. This looks great. Now we're going to head over to the main toolbar. We'll select Tool Pass, and now we're going to select 4-axis cut. Again, what you do is select your start point, select the profile, and then the direction that you'd like to cut, and then again you have the exact same type of dialog box you were presented with earlier. So once you learn this dialog box, you can easily move through all these machining operations. Alright, so that looks very good. We're going to go ahead and click OK to this, and there's the wire cut. Why don't we preview this as well? So a right hand mouse click, select Preview Toolpath. And here we go. Here's the simulation for the four axis wire cut. Very, very nice. So there's a good example of one CNC two axis and four axis wire. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.